Hello everyone and welcome back to the Python project series on NP Station. Today we are going to be continuing with working with PDF files. For those of you who don't know, last week's video was about creating a program in Python where we could actually merge separate PDF files. So we took two PDF files in that video and by the end of the uh, video after we coded the whole program we were able to merge those two PDF files together into one. So if you haven't already please do check that video out. We were able to code that program in about five minutes. So today as you know from the title of the video we're going to be creating a program that will be able to split our PDF files. So before we get started make Make sure to have a PDF file in the same folder as where you're working in Visual Studio. I'm going to be using the same PDF file I used in the previous video, which was, um, I'm opening it right now. It is this little thing from EduGuide that I found on the internet where it's called Improve My High School Study Skills. So it's really random, it doesn't have any context as related to the video. So make sure you have a PDF file with more than I'll say three pages so you can uh, split the PDF into separate pages. All right, so let's get to it. Now before we start coding, we will need to import a library if you haven't already. We had actually done this in the previous video. So you're gonna say pip3 install pypdf2. Once you click enter, um, it should say that uh, it has successfully installed. I've already done it, which is why it says requirement already satisfied. Okay, so now that we've imported that, we can go ahead and start coding. So we can say from pypdf2 import pdf reader, comma pdf reader. Okay, so we've created a variable called pages and I have one and two inside. So those are the pages from the merge.pdf file that we want to split. We want to take that out. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what which ones those are. So you can see um, in Python, remember, we do start with zero. So we're going to be taking the table of contents page and this one, which is just a little information about EduGuide. Now that we've created that variable, let's go ahead and say with open and in quotation marks, what you have to do here is go to your PDF file, which is right here, I have merge.pdf. I'm going to click on it and you're gonna say copy relative path. So once you do that, it'll copy the path and just paste it right in here. And you can see that the path is now in um, the parentheses. So we need that so the computer will be able to access the file. And then I'm also going to say uh, RB, which stands for reading bytes mode. We're gonna close those parentheses and say as F, which is as the file stream F. Okay, so in here, you're gonna create a variable called reader and we're gonna set it to PDF reader and we'll have, uh, we'll target the F file here. Next, we'll create a variable called writer and we'll say PDF writer this would just be blank like that. And then the last variable is going to be called rest underscore writer. And we'll set that to PDF writer as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and create a four. So four page in range, length of the reader pages, reader.pages. And we'll have an if condition that states if page in pages, then writer.add page will add that page to the reader.pages and in square brackets page. Else we'll say we'll use that rest writer. And again we'll say add page reader dot pages page okay so we're done with that if condition and the for so we can get out of that and here again we're going to say with open and i'm going to say selected dot pdf so this is what the pdf is going to be called which is the one where 
pages one and two is going to be extracted into. So it's just going to be called select the PDF. You can say whichever name you would like. And we're going to say WB, which stands for writing bytes mode. And as F2. Here, we're going to say writer dot write. And we're going to pass the file stream, which is F2. So just say F2 in the parentheses. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it because we need it again here. Except we're just going to change a few things like the PDF name. Instead of selected, it would be rest because the rest of the pages is going to be stored here. And we need to change writer to rest writer. And everything else seems to be good. So guess what? You have just completed coding the PDF splitter program. And this was about, this was exactly 20 lines of code. So that's great. Let's go ahead and run this. And what you will have to expect when you click this run button is that here you need two PDF files that should be added. One called selected.pdf, another called rest.pdf. So I'm going to run that. It'll open the terminal window. Oh, it looks like, oh, I made a little mistake there. Let me go ahead and fix that right here. So that should be reader.pages. Let's go ahead and run this again. Okay, so you can see it worked right here. You got the two PDF files, one called rest.pdf, another called selected.pdf. So let's go ahead and open these. Hopefully that selected PDF actually, you know, has the pages one and two. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and open that. And look at that, guys. So you got the table of contents and the uh, information about EduGuide all in one PDF, which is what we wanted. And if we open the rest of the PDF, you'll see the rest of the pages. And this has 13 pages. So that's great. That means our program worked. Now, this, uh, what we have coded in this program is here we have specifically said which pages we want to extract into a separate PDF. So I'm thinking to put in another part. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments about if you want me to create a program that we can code out that will be able to split the PDFs, like a very big PDF file, into chapters. Let's say you're working on a book and it's in a PDF format. You want to split the one PDF file into separate PDF files regarding the chapters, right? So if you think you would want that and um, think that it's interesting to create a program that could split PDF files into groups, then please let me know. I'd be happy to share that code with you as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to NP Station. Keep a lookout on my YouTube channel for more videos regarding PDFs. I will be posting some videos about some cool AI tools that I've discovered regarding PDF files. But that's all for today's video. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.